Welcome back to RD Cloud Compute. In this video, we will cover Heron Boot P Boot CD uh, using uh, the Heron Boot CD is a PE environment that uh, are a live boot uh, Windows uh, CD or uh, image that allows you to uh, uh, boot, uh, boot Windows uh, from ISO or a USB drive uh, with, uh, from CD without uh, needing to install an operating system. And then the, the Heron uh, Boot uh, CD has a lot of inbuilt tools um, uh, that helps you to run a lot of diagnostics or uh, fixes, registry fixes, uh, data copied uh, things, a lot of tools available uh, uh, in the uh, uh, pre-boot CD. So it also helps you to uh, do uh, the Windows administrator password resets and create a user uh, from the uh, 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 temporary users kind of things. Uh, you can do this from the live boot CD. Uh, let's see how to uh, uh, boot, uh, boot from the CD and um, do some uh, admin password reset. So you can download the uh, Hiran Boot uh, images from the hirensbootcd.org. So go to the site and click on the downloads. Close. So it has the all the a um, uh, lot of tools like uh, you, you have the BCD tools, um, boot edit uh, tools, uh, hard drive tools to check the uh, check. Uh, uh, Check the hard drive for the bad sectors, uh, data recovery, um, file copy, the hard disk, hard drive cloning, defragging, uh, ghost, um, HD tune, HD scan, and a lot of um, hard drive related tools. And you have a network, um, internet browsers. Um, uh, you have the partition management tools. If you, there is a. a, a Acronis or AOI, uh, MEI uh, backup disks. You can back up or extend the partitions and uh, shrink the partitions. Um, so there are a couple of tools that allows you to uh, re reset the passwords for the users, uh, but um, create a new user uh, for uh, in the Windows. So it also some antivirus tools, uh, uh, McAfee, Kaspersky uh, uh, to run. Uh, uh, the, and remove the malware and virus uh, 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 from the uh, uh, live boot uh, uh, on the directly on the drive disk. So it has uh, the, some of the common tools like a file system viewer, uh, VLC media player, WinMage, Notepad Plus, 7-Zip, all these tools. You don't have to log into the system. So um, Yeah, to create a, a ISO or a boot, a CD a, a USB bootable disk, just download this uh, HPCDP 64-bit ISO. This will download the latest uh, here and boot. Uh, so I have downloaded the file and I'm just going to use um, this uh, virtual machine uh, running H Windows Server 2019 uh, to show uh, 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 how to boot a virtual machine from the Heron Boot CD and reset the, uh, show, show how to reset or create the uh, local accounts for this uh, uh, Windows Server. So let's attach the uh, uh, ISO file to this virtual machine. So I'm just going to change the ISO. Yeah. So I'll just reboot the system and boot from the hidden boot CD. So it is based on Windows PE, Win 10 PE. Yep, here you go. So it has uh, Mozilla Firefox. If you want to use the wireless network cards, um, you can configure the network ma manually or connect to Wi-Fi if you want to use it as a um, temporary uh, if you want to connect to the internet and download some tools or uh, copy something or don't, uh, upload something from your system so it, it is connected and this is IP address all these details you can post the internet from here so you have a lot of utilities you can go to the my computer and browse the drives as usual so you, you will have access to the C drive, all the drives attached to the systems. So one, uh, yeah, 
it uh, any bitlocker encrypted or any other encrypted drives won't be accessible uh, you will have to uh, um, include you can still um, uh, access those encrypted drives if you have the uh, decryption uh, software uh, from the vendor or, uh, uh, that you can include that one uh, to the windows pe uh, uh, the uh, the uh, here and uh, boot cd uh, and then launch the tools to unlock your encryption uh, and then access your data so i will cover some of those in the future videos how to uh, edit this here and boot image and add uh, custom tools to it so in this will uh, go through this uh, utilities what is available so these are the some of the windows default um, uh, tools available snipping uh, snip, uh, snipping tool calculator registry edit so this if you launch this this one changes the uh, uh, registry file uh, settings for the uh, windows uh, install on the c drive um, not for the live uh, system so um, disk management all those tools you would normally use in the windows waste manager services so uh, bcd editing you have a hard hard drive recovery tools the partitioning tools you can resize the partition the main uh, most useful tool is this windows password uh, tools so um, you have uh, three different tools the all almost all of them does the similar work but um, i'll prefer this the windows login unlocker it because it gives you the option to create delete edit the existing users let's say if you want to reset the built-in administrator password just right click reset the password yes reset the password administrator password so user password has been reset the password has been set to blank so which won't be normally possible you won't be able to set blank password in most of the systems but you can set it from here and if you want to change the password clear um, disable enable the users so the default password is it's setting we're going to set the change it to password but i'm going to set my own password okay you can create a new user if you want to get uh, let's say uh, i'll say lab yeah the user is getting created yes the lab user has been created the password is set to blank so you can change the passwords but you can't view any passwords so change the password set it to password yeah password has been scheduled object Okay, so that has been set. You can add the users to an admin group from here. Add to group. So now this user has been added to an uh, as an administrator to the system. Yeah, let's reboot and try uh, uh, the new users what we created. So we created a user called Lab. So that was a local user. Let's go to computer management and verify the user details. User, so administrator. Yes, the lab user has been added to an admin group. Okay, let's verify the user. Okay, this is member of administrator. That's excellent. That's it for this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.